Good day everyone, I am Evelyn Francisco and I am one of the reporters today. Our topic for today is all about WebQuest. What is WebQuest? Here is the definition of WebQuest. A WebQuest is an inquiry-oriented lesson format in which most or all the information that learners work with comes from the web. Basically, in a web quest, the students are given a task that has to be completed by reading or watching internet materials that has been pre-selected by the teacher. How web quests are developed? Learners typically complete web quests as cooperative groups. Each learner within a group can be given a role or a specific area to research. Web quests may take the form of role-playing scenarios where students take on the personas of professional researchers or historical figure. A teacher can search for web quests on a particular topic or they can develop their own using a web editor like Microsoft Front Page or Adobe Dreamweaver. This tool allows learners to complete various tasks using other cognitive toolboxes. Example, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Access, Excel, and Publisher. With the focus of education increasingly being turned to differentiate instruction, teachers are using WebQuest more frequently. WebQuest also help to address the different learning style of each student. The number of activities associated with a WebQuest can reach almost any student. WebQuest may be created by anyone. Typically, they are developed by educators. The first part of a WebQuest is the introduction. This describes the WebQuest and gives the purpose of the activity. The next part describes what student will do, then is a list of what to do and how to do it. There is usually a list of links to follow to complete the activity. Finally, WebQuest do not have to be developed as a true website. They may be developed and implemented using lower threshold, less demanding technologies. And the example, they may be saved as a Word document on a local computer. Many WebQuests are being developed by college students across the United States as a requirement for their K-12 learning e-portfolio. There are five essential of the web quest. When we say essential, ito yung mga importante or mga halagang bagay na dapat nating tandaan in making a web quest. First, task is the formal description of what the students will produce in the web quest. The task should be meaningful and fun. Creating the task is the most difficult and creative part of developing a web quest. First, the teacher finds resources for a particular topic on the web. Then, the teacher devises an activity for the students that incorporates the information from the various sites. This task should be doable and interesting. In developing the task, the students can be asked to publish their findings on the website. Collaborate in an online research initiative with another site or situation. Or, create a multimedia, multimedia presentation on a particular aspect of the research. The task should be aesthetically appealing, inherently important, and fun for the students. There are tips in making a task. Show the students an example of finished projects. Students can get to see the whole picture at the beginning of the project and have a better understanding of the of what they are trying to accomplish. For example, um, when I was in um, junior high school, um, tuwing may pinapagawa sa amin na task yung aming mga teacher, lalo na pag ito'y um, bago, sa, bago para sa amin, um, dinibigyan nila kami ng example or um, finished products as a model or oh, as a model na 
uh, magbibigay sa amin ng idea kung ano ba yung dapat naming ma-accomplish na uh, task. Yung task ay ito yung mga gawain na iniaataw ng mga teacher nila sa kanilang mga students. And dapat ito ay makabuluhan and related to their um, class. For example, ito yung mga report natin. Ma'am Rain give us a task which is to report different topics. Um, binigyan tayo ni Ma'am ng mga uh, iba't ibang topics and para magawa natin ito and para mas ma-deliver or ma-share natin ito sa ating mga kaklase, we can use website to find um, information and uh, yan, to find information. And we can use multimedia presentation on a particular aspect of our research. Um, we can use different um, yun nga, multimedia para mas ma-deliver or mas maayos natin ma-deliver yung ating mga research. Next, second, process. The steps that the students should take to accomplish the task. It is frequently profitable to reinforce the written process with some demonstrations. For example, these demonstrations. It takes students through the process steps by steps and reinforce written dire directions. Um, when we say demonstration, ito yung um, pagpapaliwanag ng mga teachers sa kanilang mga estudyante step by step or uh, oh, step by step upang mas maunawaan at mas maintindihan ng mga estudyante. Ito rin yung ginagamit, um, ito rin nagiging paraan ng mga teacher para mas ma ipaliwanag at mas maunawaan ng mga estudyante yung mga task na or topic na um, dapat nilang matutunan. For example, the research paper. In, re in creating a research paper, there are research process. Yun yung magiging guide mo para ma-accomplish mo yung or magawa mo yung research, um, research paper mo. There are different ways or may, um, when we say, uh, ano ba? Um, may, uh, kumbaga sa hagdan, um, mayroon ka dapat unang daanan para ma, um, para marating mo yung taas. Ganon din dito sa, when we say, it, ganon, ganon din dito sa process. Kailangan may simulan ka and then, um, sunod-sunod yan na dapat mong gawin or, um, yan. Third, resources. Providing this help focus the exercise in information rather than just locating it. When we say resources, ito yung mga pinagmulan ng certain topics or certain information to create our topics or our, um, our task. Mahalaga ito para, uh, para makapag-focus or ma-review natin uh, yung ating mga um, activities. Fourth, evaluation. The way in which the student's performance will be evaluated. Um, Di ba kapag tayo may performance, kailangan ay ma-evaluate ito para kung, um, kailangan may guide para ma-evaluate ito at para mabigyan tayo ng grades. The standard should be fair, clear, consistent, and specific to the task. Each web quest needs to needs a rubric for evaluating students' work. Ayun nga po yung sinasabi ko kanina na tuwing may performance tayo, uh, mayroon mga nakalaan na rubric or magiging guides para mag-grade mag tayo ng ating mga teacher. The, st the standard should be fair, clear, consistent, and specific to the task. Many of the theories of assessment, standards, and constructivism apply to WebQuest. Clear goals, matching assessment to specific tasks, and involving the learners in the process of evaluation are concept from workshop to apply there. It can be very helpful to point to point out three types of students, for example, exemplary, acceptable, and unacceptable. Fifth, conclusion. Time to set aside for reflection and discussion of possible extensions. 
It allows for reflection by the students and summa summation by the teacher. When we say conclusion, nandito na nakapaloob na um, or isasummarize mo yung certain topics na idiniscuss ninyo. There are four characteristics of WebQuest. First, classroom-based. Second, it emphasizes higher order thinking such as analyze, analysis, creativity, or criticism uh, rather than just acquiring information. Third, the teacher preselect the sources emphasizing information using rather than information um, gathering. Fourth, finally, those solo web quests are not unknown. Most web quests are group work with the task frequently being um, split into the rows. Now, where it can be used? Saan nga ba magagamit ang web quest? It can be used in education. Web quest can be a valuable addition to a collaborative classroom. One of the goals is to increase critical thinking by, emplo um, by employing higher levels of taxonomy and web's depth of knowledge. This is the go this is goal of American educational systems, common are common core and many new American states standards for the pub for the public ed education. This is goal of the American educational system, common core and many new American state standards for public education. Since most web quests are done in small collaborative groups, they can foster cooperate, cooperative learning and collaborative activities. Students will often be assigned roles, allowing them to role play in different positions and learn how to deal with a conflict with the, with the group.